All right, Sockbuster fans, here's another one you probably never heard of from the saucy 70s. It's Groupie Girl. Let's check it out. That movie starts with some groupies. This girl in the yellow on the right there is Sally. These girls are at a concert, and she intends not to go home. Nope, she's not going home. Sally intends to hitch an unwanted ride with the band by hiding in their van. She wants to be with rock stars, and it doesn't take long before she hooks up with Bob. What? In the back of a van. Get used to it. Can't show you much more than this. Come back. You should be so lucky, This is their manager. What are you all still in kit for? They're supposed to make a record tonight. We've got a lot of work to do. I mean, we don't want to be late, do we? Late? Listen, man, we're not booked in till six this evening. It's not long before Sally becomes kind of one of the band. She's with them. She's relegated to doing mundane tasks for them, like ironing. And then she sees another lady come in. They end up getting into a cat fight. Can't show you the whole thing because Sally's top comes off. And guess what? When Bob and the other band members come home, he starts making out with her. You heard what he said, didn't you? He's not cold. And he kicks her out. That's groupy life for you. So what does she do? She goes out and watches another band. And now she has her sights set on them. Is that, um, Maharaja or whatever they call it? Huh? May I try? Oh, man. So she hooks up with this other band and joins their party scene. She ends up hooking up with the lead singer, who looks thrilled. But some new girls come by later. <laughs> Maybe they are. What am I supposed to be? Groupy life. Later on in the car, she's kind of offered to be passed around. But then instead of passing around sexually, they decide to pass around literally to another van. Turns out to be a good thing though, she escaped that van just in time. People died in that accident. Well, if you finish. Oh, no, sir. We haven't finished. Not by a long way. The cops yeah, should come. We haven't found anything, have we? Well, don't worry. By the time we're through, we'll have found plenty. You mean you would have planted plenty? Ah, uh, good man, come on. What happened to the girl, by the way? What girl? The one you were fooling about with when the accident occurred. 
Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I told you we were nowhere near that crash. Later on, looks like she might be fixated on a new man. All right. Here we go. You want to know why you're confused? Well, listen, you're a groupie, and groupies get used, and then when they're not needed, they're thrown away. She said it. You got lucky with that bust. The boys are going to get suspended sentences. How'd you do it? I don't know. Must have been the hash bones. Hash? When the bus came, I was making hash candy. She's about to get tossed aside again. See you later. You get the message? Where's Dobbin? Well, where? Is he gone? Where's knows where he's at? And that just leaves you, Dobbin. Nothing really happens to her yet because in the next scene we see that she's fine but she's on her own again. And that's our film. Alright, let's talk about the movie The Groupie Girl, otherwise known as I Am a Groupie. Now look at this cover art there uh, from the Saucy 70s collection uh, that they put on the UK. This is a PAL DVD by the way. Uh, she's a sex mad super fan. It all happens when sex goes pop. So you look at this box and you're starting to think yeah i'm gonna have some sort of tawdry british silly sex comedy and that's not what this is at all this is a real like gripping drama type thing there's no comedy in this at all there is a fair amount of nudity not a ton actually but there's a fair amount in there um and that's i guess how they figured it was saucy but anyway it's a story of this girl uh, played by esme johns uh in, in her introduce introductory role and it's the only role she ever did actually um she plays sally and Sally is out to see a band, and she wants to basically become a groupie, join the band, become closer to rock stars. So she sneaks into their van, and then um, when they leave to go to uh, drive to London, uh, they eventually find her in the back, and she hooks up with the, one of the band members, Bob. I think he was a guitar player. So she hangs around with them for several days, weeks, who knows. Um, she's kind of one with the band. She's with the band, and uh, uh, she's having a good time with them, and she's ironing their clothes and then this other girl comes in one day and uh the two of them get into a fight a cat fight and uh turns out i think she has some sort of connection with the band previously also bob comes back and starts uh, making out with her and she's crushed is sally and basically bob kicks her out and she's done she's she's out of the band now and she's on her own again so the first thing she does then hooks up with another band uh and the lead singer steve uh sleeps with steve and then later on uh, the cycle repeats itself. Two ladies show up, and she's like, oh, Steve, what's going to happen then? They're, they can't stay here. And Steve's like, yeah, they can. <laughs> um, and then she's heartbroken again. And then um, she doesn't leave, though. She's with, with that band again, and they're playing this game on the highway. At one point, Steve's bandmates try to, like, assault her. They don't really get anything out of her, though. And she's screaming, yelling, Steve doesn't do anything. Um, but then they decide to pass her physically from one van to another that's <laughs> driving by. I think it was a different band. I don't know if it was a rival band or whatever, but a different band. And they literally toss her out the van window into the van next door. Um, but the van that she was in with Steve crashes into a parked car that was on the side of the road because it uh, had a t flat tire. And some people die in that crash. Well, Sally in the new van and the, her band hits in there, the, the band, I should say, take off. And then she's heartbroken because Steve died. And then, you know, the cops might be coming by to investigate. The band denies any knowledge of anything. But eventually the truth comes out. The band members get some sort of suspended sentences. And like the manager or whoever it is of the band basically kicks Sally out and says, you're done. Goodbye. And that's how our movie ends with her just walking away. And uh, that's it. The life of a groupie. So again... Again, not this type of film at all. It's just a, it was like a serious drama about uh, uh, kind of a grim look at groupie life, which probably wasn't that far from the truth, to be honest with you. So anyway, there you go. That's it. The groupie girl starring a bunch of people you never heard of and who never did much of anything else. Um, it's on the saucy 70s thing that I think the... Uh, Company who put this out actually Slam Dunk Media. It says here, I think they made several, maybe four, five, six, or seven of these saucy '70s things, and I have 
bunch of them. So I'm not sure exactly which ones they are, but I do have some. So anyway, that's it. It's it's an okay film, actually, for what it is. It's a drama. Uh, again, a fair amount of nudity in it. So uh, if you like that, great. Check it out. Leave some comments. I know what you think about Groupie Girl. Watch it. Bye.